In Stephen Sondheim's 1979 masterpiece, Benjamin Barker returns to London after 15 years of false imprisonment. Changing his name to Sweeney Todd, he becomes the demon barber of Fleet Street, with a taste for revenge. His landlady, Mrs. Lovett, makes the worst tasting pies in London. <laughs> so, Sweeney needs to dispose of a body. Mrs. Lovett needs meat for her pies. So the two cook up a rather ingenious plan to solve both their problems. Here are Alex and Olivia in A Little Priest. What are we going to do about him? Whether I want to start, take him to some secret place, and bury him. I suppose we could do that. Don't think he's got any relatives going around looking for him. But you know me, what ideas just pop into me head and I've been thinking. Seems a downright shame. Shame? Seems an awful waste. Such a nice plump frame. What his name has had has. Nor it can't be traced. Business needs a lift. Debts to be erased. Think of it as the lift, as a gift, if you get my drift. <laughs> no. Seems an awful waste. I mean, with the price of me, what it is. When you get it, if you get it. <laughs> Good you've got it. Take for instance Mrs. Mooney and her pie shop. This is ever better using only pussy cats and toast. Now a pussy's good for maybe six or seven at the most. And I'm sure they can't compare with for its taste. Mrs. Mallet, why the charming notion there? Well, it does seem no worse. Mrs. Mallet, I will live without you all these years. I'll never know. Think about it. Taylor? 
Oh, no, we'll serve. 